Hi everybody, this is Nick with Joule360, and today I'm going to show you how to process and manage layaways within the Joule360 point of sale. So the very first thing I'm going to do is actually head to my settings area, and I'm going to make sure that all the defaults I have set for layaways are everything that I'd like to use in my store. I'm going to go ahead and go to point of sale settings, and then layaways. Here I get to do several things. For instance, setting a default deposit amount, setting a minimum purchase amount of either the item price or a transaction total, my default payment, so I'm going to say monthly, uh, the typical term that I'd like to do, so pay over six months, you can set that here, and then any additional fees that I'd like. This reserve inventory section is interesting. What this enables you to do is decide whether the inventory is counted as reserved during the layaway or if it removes it from your inventory. This is valuable when you're trying to determine your, the inventory value for your store. I'm going to go ahead and leave the reserved as unchecked. There we go, I've got those saved. So now I'm going to head back to the register and I'm going to pull in a customer. So for right now I'm just going to go ahead and add myself. Once I've opened the customer, I'm going to come to the customer actions over here on the top right and open those. And then I'll see this section for layaways. I'll go ahead and hit this plus symbol right here. And it's going to pull in everything that I'd expect. So for instance, it's going to pull in my default deposit of 20%. My payment term is monthly. Um, and it also pulls in the customer. As well as the pickup date um, it will automatically be populated here. Then I can go ahead and select the items that I'd like to put on layaway. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull in this necklace. You can also scan an item if that's easier. It'll pull it in, pull it in its correct payment amount, and then it will ask me to save and make a deposit. If I want to see the scheduled payments, I can click that here and see all the future payments, including the payment amounts. I'm going to go ahead now and click save and make deposit. This takes me to the till and shows me that I have a $252 deposit, which is 20% of the layaway, including the remaining balance as well. I'm going to go ahead and take payment on this just as cash and complete the transaction. I can then print a receipt with layaway information on it if I'd like to, but I'm not going to do that right now. And then I can come over here. If I want to see the status of the layaway, I can do that several ways. First, I can pull in the customer again, click the customer actions, and I can see this layaway, including its next payment amount and when it's due. I can pay or pick up directly from here, or I can come over here to modules on the left-hand side and select layaway. This lets me see all the layaways at my store and their status. This is really useful when I'm trying to identify late layaways that I need to reach out and follow up with the customer on, um, as well as see any that are ready for pickup. So again, this first one here for myself, it was just placed today. I can click on this and I can see all the additional information on here. And this is also where I can go ahead and delete it if they're not going to um, complete the layaway, uh, make additional payments, print it out, anything like that I can do from right here. This is Layaways and Jewel 360. Thanks.